leaning into all of the latest trends. Chances are this oversized bright green owl has flown across your social media pages. It's the mascot for Duolingo, the largest online language learning platform in the world, co-founded by... My name is Luis von An. But this 45-year-old exec's journey began far from any tech hub. Van An was raised in Guatemala by a single mom who instilled the value of problem solving at an early age. I begged her for a Nintendo because all my friends had a Nintendo and she refused and instead she came home one day with a computer and I was very upset. Back then, uh, computers were much harder to use. I mean, they were, <laughs> they, like, it didn't even have a mouse. Uh, it's just a keyboard. There was nothing mobile about them. No, there was nothing. It was a humongous keyboard that you plugged into the TV. That clunky, unwanted computer would prove to be life-changing. It came with a user menu. I had to figure out how to use it, and I was eight years old. So I kind of spent a lot of afternoons trying to figure out how to use it, and over time, I just got good at it. He got very good at it, good enough to eventually wind up at Duke University, and after that, at Carnegie Mellon University to get his doctorate, where he would help create a way for websites to tell the difference between humans and bots. How many of you have had to fill out some sort of web form where you've been asked to read a distorted sequence of characters like this? Yeah. How many of you found it really, really annoying? <laughs> OK, outstanding. So I invented that. <laughs> That invention would come to be known as CAPTCHA. It stands for Completely Automated Public Turing Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. It's a mouthful. I see why it's an acronym. But Van Am wanted those efforts to go beyond fighting spam. So he invented reCAPTCHA, where every time you type a word in a CAPTCHA's web form, it would help digitize books. That's when one of the big tech giants came calling. So you sold that technology to Google, and yep. then you transitioned into language. Yes. How did that come to be? It was 2009, Google bought reCAPTCHA to help digitize books. And what that meant is that I really didn't have to work anymore. And I just wanted to do a project that was related to my passion, which has always been education. Two years later, Van An, along with his PhD student at the time, Severin Hacker, would launch Duolingo. Each exercise is about 15 to 20 seconds, and a lesson is about two minutes. Offering 100 courses across more than 40 languages, and it's all free. Even Van An has used the language app to learn French, Portuguese, and Japanese. So I formulated this next question with the help of Duolingo. Okay. Kete Motiva, what motivates you? Oh, wow. Positive impact to the world, and, and large-scale positive impact, I think. The, the more I hear, you know, large numbers of users actually learning something on Duolingo, uh, that, that's very motivating. I grew up in Guatemala. Yeah. It is a poor country. You know, in poor countries, they barely learn how to read and write and therefore can never make a lot of money. So I wanted to do something that would give equal access to education to everyone. Duolingo's reach soared well beyond Van An's hopes, with more than 74 million monthly active users this year, up 50% from the year before. Van An says there are users in every single country, from refugees to billionaires like Bill Gates. It's very rare that you see the same thing being used by billionaires and by refugees. I mean, usually billionaires have better stuff, but in here, you know, it's kind of more money could not buy you a better education. So, so I was very proud of that. And Duolingo is no longer just a language learning platform. They're expanding into math and music. And part of the mission is making education accessible. So Duolingo relies on ads and subscribers to offer the basic platform for free to all users. I think it's amazing. Yeah. That is the best backstory I've ever right? heard. Yeah. Right? Right? didn't no need to do this decided to do it because he's interested in education. And it's really growing at such a rapid rate, and they're meeting the consumers where they are. So 50% of the new daily users are actually coming from social media. So the success of their very wise, bright green owl mm -hmm. is really allowing it to grow. Someone, I think, accidentally used my email when they were signing up for Duolingo because I kept getting this email, congratulations on your 15-day streak learning Russian. And I was like, this guy's doing great. Yeah. I haven't uh -oh. gotten an email in a while. He, he like, it made out? it up to like nearly 100 Maybe days. it's a sign. Yeah. You should start learning a new now language. Learn yeah. Or that he's yes. cloned your identity. Well, yeah. or, well there is that. Somebody else would think I didn't but I was rooting him up. Yes, there you go. Yes. All right. He stole all her money. <laughs> thanks so much, Emily. Thanks, thanks guys. Great. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day, or click the link right here.